<laughs> All right, I am Rob Gowen, race director of Brazos Bend Trail Races and the Brazos Bend 50. So we have Melinda Cohen here with us. Thanks a lot, Melinda, for showing up. So we did a series of Brazos Bend journeys where we chronicled three of our local runners, uh, one which was going for their first 50K, one which was going for the first 50 miler, and then someone who has already done those distances and was looking to be more competitive. So Melinda was, was our choice in that. And congratulations to Melinda, first overall female. Yeah. And a, uh, and a great time. PR? PR, yeah. I think it was uh, 18 minute PR. Yeah, something so. like that. So that was good. So, um, but yeah, so we talked to Melinda before. We talked to you at your house with the dog in the way. <laughs> That's the infamous video. Yes. Um, <laughs> about you know how you got into running where you were training for the Bryce hundred yep and Bryce has been was just kind of part of the puzzle of the training so tell us a little bit about you know after we did the interview your training leading up to the race yeah so we did that um and then i think it was like a week or two before Hell's Hose, right right so I, I did that 50 miler um came in second there had some um had some fun uh gi issues <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it's all it's all part of it. Yeah. Uh, so I did that, and then uh, that's when I kicked off my monster run. Yeah. So um, you know, big thing about training for hundreds is you got to get on a lot of long runs. So I, I did 50 miler the next weekend. Uh, my husband had gotten back from a business trip, so I did 27 with him. The following weekend, we both felt kind of rested up, so we did like 31 and a half on Easter Sunday. Yeah. And then the next weekend was Cross's uh, Bend, so I did 50. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was kind of funny because I didn't, um, didn't expect to do really well. I thought right. I was going to be pretty fatigued. I, my feet were definitely tired, yeah. but my legs felt good. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm just going to go kind of see how I feel and just kind of got in the groove and, well, a little bit competitive. Yeah. So, uh, well, before, you, before <laughs> you get into the race, so, so leading up to the race, obviously your, your train is building. You, you, as you said, you like for fresh. So you also did something that not a lot of people do. Is you change your shoes up. I did. Day of, <laughs> or, or what? Couple yeah, days, two days up, right? Before, two days yeah. before. Tell yeah, us so, about that uh, choice. <laughs> so I usually run in the Brooks Pure Grip. Yeah. It, it's a nice lightweight shoe. It's it's good for pretty technical terrain. Uh, no rock plate, not a lot of cushion. And all those miles, especially miles at Hell's Hills, just my feet were just hurting, yeah. just hurting. So um, so I went out and I bought a pair of the Ultra Olympus. Is max cushion um, similar to the Hoka? It's actually the more Hoka than a Hoka. It has a higher, higher amount of cushion than the uh, Hoka Conquest over here. Wow! So it's actually higher, higher off the ground than the Hokas. Um, so uh, you know, yeah. Um, went from you know I was selling shoes over Christmas and over the holiday season, and we went from um, selling shoes and telling people to not do this <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> Going and dropping some money on a brand new pair of shoes and putting Give them on them a race day morning and there said, hey, yeah. see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So, <laughs> so you did the training, obviously did the miles. You're going in, you're, you're, you're not even really leaving that week for racing. It's just more of, I need to get 50 miles in. Yep. This is a chance for me to get in the race. So, so the race starts. Tell us a little bit about you know, the start of the race for you. Obviously, yeah, the 50 miler so, does three uh, loops. So. Yeah, so it's three loops. Um, starts promptly at 6 a.m., which is nice because um, I just use a Garmin 10 and it dies around the second loop, so then I can just switch to my Timex and I know what time it is. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so start right at 6 a.m., it's still dark. Um, take off with a couple of guys and they're going kind of quick, but I was like, well, yeah, it's kind of like a road race. It's so flat. I'm going to have to run the whole thing anyways. Let's see how it goes. Right. So I kind of just hung out with them for a while, joked that, you know, hey, I gotta hang out with people anyways because I'm terrified of alligators, which is true. <laughs> so, <laughs> and there were a few. And there were a few. I uh, saw quite a few. They all stayed in the water. Um, the snake I jumped over did not, but it was not poisonous. I found out later, so that right. was good. Right. You didn't know, but you just jump over it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it just, just felt good from the get-go. Yeah. So it was nice. So you go through... Loop one, mm -hmm. no issues. I've I've cleared you before, so you're yeah. in and out on your your, your eight stations. You get what you need, pop back out. Yeah, yeah, no issues. Um, went through loop one at two twenty, which is um a bit quick for me. Yeah. But uh, but felt good and wasn't too concerned about it. So yeah, just kind of started going to loop two. Loop two started seeing some reptiles. Yeah. Um, is it getting 
got hot. Yeah, it has got as it warmed up. <laughs> yeah, everything woke up. Heard some birds, saw some reptiles, and uh, yeah, got through uh, the, the first aid station on the second loop, and you know, our buddy Jose was man in that aid station like a champ. Yeah. Um, and he tells me that I'm in second. Right. Which I didn't believe him. Right. Well, you can. He's a, he's a liar. He does lie. <laughs> <laughs> in the interest of but, a runner. Yeah, yes, right. <laughs> yes. So, but I, I, I was like, well, you know, maybe I am in second. Maybe. So, Perhaps. I, I just, you know, kept kept trucking. Right. Got through, uh, got through lap two. Did, still felt good. I mean, came through mile 34, still feeling good. Like, yeah, and that's when I saw it. So, yeah. I see Melinda. So, at, at this point, the... Uh, the other two females that were up there with you dropped. Melinda was coming into uh, what would be the lap two, the finish yep. of lap two. And the funny story, which is in Melinda's blog. What's your what's your blog? Uh, the, uh, ultra running down a dream. Okay, ultra so. running down a dream. So Melinda tells the story in the blog of that, or, or she says, this is what I see. But Melinda comes in and I tell her, you're the first female. And then Melinda's, you can see it in her eyes. It's like jackpot. It's Vegas. Yeah. It's, it's like what and i'm like they dropped and then i don't even remember how fast it was from when i saw you and when you were gone i, don't I was know gone stop no i i stopped Did but you? my my mile split with stopping with getting my nutrition and like going my mile split for that mile was like 8 40. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that was, a, that was a quick stop so i was, I was gone so and, and obviously you you were fourth at rocky yep second at hell's hills yep so you you know, you've slowly, you know, progressed and you've gotten faster, and then now here you are. Last loop on a race that's train race, but you're in first. Yeah. So tell us about last loop. If anything yeah. been on your mind, how did it feel to be up in front where you it scared? Was, it was kind of just like surreal, really. Because, like, I mean, I, I, I usually am in top five people. Right. Like, usually that's where I am. So I'm used to that. Yeah. But rarely have I been number one. And in fact, at 50 miles, I had never been number one before. Right. So I mean, that was just kind of awesome. And I was just like, okay, well, my goal now is to just run this loop, not lose any time. Because I, I had a 15-minute PR cushion. Yeah. So I was like, you know, just try to stay steady, keep going, keep moving. And um, just kind of got in a groove and uh, saw a snake about a couple miles into the loop. And that got me moving a little faster. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> so, uh, but um, yeah, it was, it was more about just keeping moving. And I was, I was catching some of the other people um, that were out there still on their second loop. So that's always, it's always good to see people. Yeah. And, and just, you know, motivate them. They cheer for you. It, it's just such a great feeling. Yeah. So, and that was awesome. Saw a couple of um, people that I know from uh, when I, my short stint at Luke's Locker and yeah. you know, saw them. And it really just, just made my day. Yeah. So it was, it was a good time. So they... <laughs> You, you cruise in right at... 727? 727. So, obviously, PR. Yeah, yeah, huge PR. I um, never thought I'd be running sub 730. Yeah. So, pretty stoked. Yeah. Especially on non-tapered legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. New shoes. New shoes. Yeah, I mean, all the variables that could have gone wrong. Yeah, But yeah. did it. So but did So, yeah, it was a great day. It was, it was a Held it all together. Day. That's great. So... You, you won first female. Yep. So, and then as being first female, the Brass has been trail racing, gives you a free entry for the Brass has been 100. Because you rock. <laughs> and so I'm already signed up for that beast. There we go. So good, good. <laughs> but all of this, and uh, in, in even this training, Brass has been 100, obviously December yep. 13th, when we we'll do that, is all for the Brass 100. Yeah. And when is and this is the next kind of a yeah, big A race for yeah. you? Yeah, so that's the next um that, that'll be the next dance, so that'll be fun. Um that's June uh fourteenth. Yeah, so, so not too far away, so we have what? Yeah, a little over a month. A little bit over a month. So I got, you know, a big run this week, a big run the next two weeks, and then uh then it's taper time. Yeah, it's good. For real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well good. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. Also first place makes me appreciate yeah. it. So uh, yeah, look out for Melinda. Uh, she's running the Bryce Hunter, like she said. Um, she'll be back at Brazos Ben Hunter to give it another shot as well. So, yeah, yeah. so thanks a lot for coming out. Right. And uh, appreciate the Brazos Ben journey. So, thanks a lot. Yeah.